We're here today to go on a journey through the evolution of the Elysian dart. Why create a concept dart? We was looking for a, a, a new dart, something special, something never been done before, that we believe the dart should look like in future. It's a great challenge for our creative team to, to really push boundaries and it's about trying to do something really incredible. Well, let's have a look at the first edition. What was it about this particular generation that was so trailblazing? I just had it in my mind about doing a grip, sort of caging it, instead of it being all over, but just trying to make a cage around it. And that grip on the front there through that milling, you can grip it quite hard or you can grip it quite light and it really gives a good release. Visually that contrast between front and back is great, isn't it? Yeah. There's a real divide there, isn't there? Just something different. No one had ever done anything orbed, you know, round. It's great seeing these again, I'll tell you, like this. I haven't looked at them for a, mm. for a long while, so it's brilliant to see them and go, wow, God, that one beautiful. Let's have a look at the third edition. Beautiful blue. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. When you feel it, it, it feels a little bit yeah. sticky, right? What happens is that will go off very quickly. Once you start, I don't think people, people play with them. Occasionally. <laughs> right, but they collect them. We started doing more with the accessories on this, so it's turning it more into, from just being about the barrel to being about the dart as a whole big step up in terms of design and product packaging. So we're talking about the, the theatre and the story behind the product and that starts as soon as you open it. So putting that acrylic plate on the front of there, um, you see the dart through it but then you get a feel for the, the cut that follows as well. And that was just the iconic thing about this edition. Which leads us nicely on to the fifth edition. So this is the first one that really had a theme from the outset I yeah. think, didn't it? So it's based on biomimicry and kind of taking them aspects of nature and and trying to create, recreate them in uh, small billets of metal. But they're the hardest shapes to recreate because they are so kind of organic and flowing. And I think that's part of the inspiration for it. Wow, that's got impact, <laughs> isn't it? What a mad thing. And there's a Japanese technique called uh, kintsugi, which takes something broken and uh, fixes it in a more beautiful way. So we wanted to just kind of bring that in there. And that's what the, the blue foil on this does. A designer, he really went to town when he um, designed that and give everybody an headache to machine it. But it was <laughs> like, you know. Okay, well, let's have a look at the seventh edition. We know that people like to display their darts, and so we wanted to help them with that and, and give them something that could do that in a really beautiful way. And then those crazy darts sit on top. They are getting, and I say they get better and better. They are. Well, guys, thanks for your time. Gary, James, thank you. Um, how, how's it been? How's it been looking back through the various editions? I loved it. I haven't looked at them all like that for, <laughs> for so many years, so it's been, it's been great to look at and talk about them and, and feel them again and uh, made them feel really proud. It's really, really good. Really, sometimes, really sometimes products date, but yeah. I think they have. I think they look, they look as good as the day they, they were milled. They really do.